Unearthing meanings, exploring, digging up the past. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase in the English language, digging up the past. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and understanding it can add depth to your English communication skills. Let's explore what it means, how it's used, and some examples to help you grasp it fully. Digging up the past has both a literal and a figurative dimension. Literally, it involves the physical act of digging into the ground to uncover something from the past, like archaeologists unearthing ancient artifacts. Figuratively, it means to bring up old memories, events, or issues that have happened in the past. This phrase often carries a connotation of uncovering something that was hidden or forgotten, and sometimes, it suggests that this act of uncovering might not be entirely welcome or positive. Understanding when and how to use digging up the past is crucial. It's commonly used in conversations to describe situations where past events are brought back into focus, especially if they have emotional weight or unresolved issues associated with them. For instance, Discussing a friend's old relationship issues during a new relationship can be described as digging up the past. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from casual conversations to literature and media, adding a layer of depth to discussions about history, personal growth, and the impact of past actions on the present. To help you fully understand how to use this phrase, here are some examples. During the family reunion, bringing up Uncle Bob's old gambling habits was like digging up the past. The documentary aimed to dig up the past of the ancient civilization, revealing secrets buried for centuries. Revisiting the old letters was a way of digging up the past and confronting her feelings. These examples show how digging up the past can be applied in different scenarios, emphasizing the uncovering and revisiting of past events or feelings. Understanding phrases like digging up the past enriches your English learning journey, enabling you to express complex ideas and emotions more effectively. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about the stories and meanings we convey through our words. I hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase, and I look forward to exploring more aspects of the English language together. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.